tanner on. Now I'm going to do my makeup. I grabbed like a basket of the makeup that I wanted to do. I wanted to do like a kind of like a smoky silvery black look. I haven't done that for a really freaking long time I feel like. So I grabbed this like dark blue gray by Dose of Colors. I think that'll look really pretty. I grabbed this one too. It's like a, it's a dark silver. So we'll see what we come up with. Um, and then Nick's taking a nap right now, but hopefully I can slide in there after I get my hair done. I've got to get this done pretty quickly because it's 3.36 and the sun's going to set in like less than two hours. I don't really have time for this. Um, let's see how this goes. I might be putting makeup on for nothing. Um, but I'm excited to show you guys how, like I, I've come up with a very good, like tripod system that I'm very, very, very excited about. This is a recent development. I've been using my iPhone for all of my photos and now I have a way to take photos with my professional camera. It just adds that extra little bit of professionalism and like just a better look to it when you're trying to get a certain type of photo. So very excited. And I'm actually gonna film this for Instagram. So it'll be there when this goes up, probably prior to, but I'll link it in the down bar below if you guys wanna check it out. But I'm gonna film this for Instagram. Um, might as well kill two birds with one stone, you know? Here's my makeup so far. This is not the best lighting. And I still need to put lashes on and put my lips on, but I wanted to do my hair first. I keep like grabbing a tripod that's like the cutest angle. I am going to just kind of do, honestly, I don't really even need to do anything to this. Like putting it up. I don't really need to do anything to my hair. <laughs> putting it up in a clip kind of like did the trick. I might just add a couple little bends in here that look a little more purposeful. So I'm just gonna kinda make this a little messy. So I haven't put any deodorant on and I don't smell the best. I hate when I'm like racing the sun. Like, gotta get ready. Here we are, here's the final look. Um, I put some lashes on, this one is like absolutely obnoxious. I can't wait to rip these off when I'm done. Very carefully, of course. Um, I wanted to show you guys, oh my gosh, it keeps sticking. You know, when you get just like too much glue and it's just sticking. I wanna show you guys some things that I got. For the longest time, I've been having the hardest time. Let me put you guys on a chair. For the longest time, I've been having a really hard time figuring out how to get my big camera. This is a Sony, this is my photo one. This is a Sony 4K steady shot A7R 2 I film with the A7R 5 So I've been having the hardest time trying to figure out how to take my photo on this without anyone else here, because usually I'm here alone. Well, I used to be. Now we have Harlow's nanny here a lot, but um, she's busy. She doesn't have time to take my photo. So I was trying to figure out how to do that because I've been taking it with my iPhone all the time because I have this like little remote that I'll link for you guys below. That's awesome for an iPhone. Like if you need family photos, you just want to stick it on your bumper real quick. It's great. Your iPhone focuses. So I was having a really hard time getting this to focus. I would put on a timer, run in front of the camera, try and pose, take a picture, which was such a pain in the butt and so much work. So I got this little piece that connects to the hot shoe, kitty, <laughs> that connects to the hot shoe and plugs into the camera. And this works for a Quite a few different cameras and i'll link this for you guys too if you're interested i just got it on amazon and i think it was like 50 bucks or 40 bucks and it comes with this remote and you barely press the middle down to focus and then you press it and it'll take the photo you can also put a timer on it so that you have a chance to like kind of hide this somewhere or hide it in your titties like wherever the hell you're gonna hide this throw it toss it aside put it behind you whatever you're gonna do um and then it will take a photo for you and where is my camera cage. Hold please. So this is a camera cage and ideally the purpose of this is so that you can, sorry I'm like talking so fast, I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm full, transferring um, clips right now and I'm using the time in between to talk about this. So this goes over your camera and all these little holes you can attach other things to it which comes in really handy when you need another spot to attach something such as 
a light. This is a little light that I just got. Um, you can change the warmth of it. I don't know if you can, so you blinded. So you can make yourself a little more orange if you want to look a little more tan um, or a little more blue and it goes, that's the highest and lower, lower, lower and off. So this, that's another way you can attach other things like a monitor. So I got that too. So those are the two things that I'm just, or the three things I'm like most excited about and I'm really excited to try this out right now. And I wish I wasn't racing the sun. I wish it was a little bit earlier because I need a little more light. Someone is awake. <laughs> and um, let's do this. So I'm gonna have you guys on this tripod. I'm gonna put a bathing suit on. We're trying to get this photo. Um, let me show you my photo inspiration. Actually, for the purposes of time right now, I will pop it on screen, but this right here is my photo inspiration. I have a whole board of photos, like maternity type photos that I just think are beautiful, and I just found them on there and put them all on a board, so I'm using that for my inspo, and this is gonna be um, my little assistant, my huh, Diana. Yo, Diana. Oh, I can't kiss you because I got lip gloss on. Okay, so let's head into the bedroom real quick. Or the sunsets. I've got my little timer on there. I've got my little guy. I've got my my lens that I need. Oh, I need the card. Very important. Grab that, and then we'll head into the bedroom. So I am moving my little iPhone holder off this one, and then putting my big camera on this tripod. This tripod is not the sturdiest for a heavy camera like this. If my lens was any longer, this would be an issue. But I think this is okay. Make sure the lights are extended. So, this light panel is about to go on. Okay, I do not want it colored. So, here we go. So, that's getting a little more yellow. on my camera too. That's another great thing about having that cage. And I can also attach my monitor if I wanted to, which would be actually a really smart idea because I can't really see what I'm taking for those of right now. I'm going to take a few and see where we're at. try and get a little video outside right now before the sun really sets. It's really harsh though out here, so I don't know how this is going to look, but I'm trying to set it up over here so I can do a little, little video. my camera on a tripod. I've got one of these. All the lighting is so bad out here. Um, I'm going to try a couple things out here with my cell phone just as a backup. It is very cold. we did it is the next day and I am back with a little more natural of a makeup look I've got this super cute suit on I'm taking some more photos outside I might take some photos with the Bronco I don't really know I just wanted like some options so now um, I pulled my monitor I pulled like everything outside to try and take this photo so that I can see um, because a lot of the ones yesterday like were like 
almost great, but they just like, something was off where I don't think I can use it. So let's go outside and we'll see how we do. I might pull out my Bronco and take some photos with that too, we'll see. This smaller tripod um, to get my camera lower. I just hope that it doesn't fall over. I'm gonna have to put my sweater under it because if it falls, that lens is not cheap to replace. So I've got the power plugged in over there. I got my little setup over here. And this tripod's just like a little too high. So I'm not a professional at this. I'm just doing what I can to get by, you know? I don't know if you can see anything on this monitor right now, but I can see myself. And I'm gonna stick you guys on here so you can watch. So many tripods, so little time. And hopefully you guys are able to see what is going on because let me move you way back. myself a little snack, some plantain chips. I started going through some of the photos. The color is like a little off, but I'm marking the ones with green that I like. It's funny, um, <laughs> Joseph decided to come join me at the shoot. Um, it's funny, he like jumped over the fence and I called him. So these look pretty good. Some of them I'm like a little annoyed because I wish my belly looked a little more round. And of course, I'm not a fan of these rolls over here, but this is real life. This is what happens when you get pregnant. You gain weight, you get fluffy. And honestly, I never got back to my pre-pregnancy weight before I got pregnant again. So this is real life and I'm just gonna have to work on loving my body exactly the way that it is. Um, and you know what I forgot to do too? Look at this dude. First of all, my lens needs to be cleaned. Wow. Um, but this right here is unblended cream contour that I completely forgot about. So that's gonna be kind of a pain to edit. Oh, that one's cute. These, so annoying. I saw this on my lens and I cleaned it, but I guess I didn't do it till later. Dude, that line under my chin, oh my goodness. I can't believe I forgot to blend that. Oh, that's a cute one. So I'm gonna go through these and then I'll show you some of like my faves. Oh, that's a cute one too. I got uh, these colors. These are some of the ones from yesterday. I don't really need to like, like Lightroom these cause they're fine. Um, but these were some of my favorite ones. Uh, I'm trying to just click the JPEGs. Some of them are a little blurry. Um, for some reason it focused on like this area. So a monitor would have been great yesterday because I would have been able to figure this out before I took all of these photos. So like, I love this one and it's so blurry. <laughs> so next step is adding a, adding filters to all of these, whatnot. I took some of these on my iPhone with the um, remote, the little remote that I'll link you guys to. Um, I changed bathing suits at some point. So these are some of my favorites. Um, I now have a few different things to post with a pregnant belly, finally. Thanks for watching guys. Sorry if that was kind of all over the place. The new gadgets that I have for my new camera, I've just never used before, but I wanted to share them because I know they're awesome. I just need to master how to use them properly. And it is just really hard to take photos of yourself, just period. But 
the if you want to keep it simple a tripod with the little um, iPhone holder with that little remote that's like four dollars is is going to just be awesome for you I pretty much have it in our car every time we go camping anytime we go on a road trip because we just want to pull over and take a photo super super easy so no matter what you're taking a photo of it's great um, and works really well with the timer on an iPhone too. So if you guys have any um, tips or tricks or items that you guys use for your own photos that you didn't see in this video, we'd love to hear about it. Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.